stop limit order is a type of order placed by an investor or trader to sell or buy a security at a specific price level once it reaches a predetermined price. This price or threshold is known as the stop price, and it is used to trigger the limit order. The limit order sets the maximum or minimum price at which the trader is willing to buy or sell the security. So suppose an investor buys 100 shares of XYZ at $50 per share, and they want to limit their losses to no more than $5 per share. In this case, they can place a stop limit order with a stop price of $45 and a limit price of $44.50. If the stock price falls below $45, the order will be triggered and the investor's shares may be sold at the limit price. Unlike a stop market order, which is executed at the best available price once the stop price is reached, a stop limit order will only be executed at the limit price or better. This is important because it means that if the market price drops quickly and reaches the limit price before the order can be filled, the order may not be executed at all. So one advantage of a stop limit order is that it allows traders to control the price at which they buy or sell the security. This can be useful in volatile markets where prices can fluctuate rapidly. By setting a limit price, traders can avoid selling at a price which is lower than they would like or buying at a price that is higher than they would like. Now, nonetheless, one disadvantage of a stop limit order is that it may not be executed at all depending on certain market conditions. This could result in missed opportunities to buy or sell a security or potential losses. So listen up traders, just remember to be aware of the potential risk involved. The main difference between a stop limit and a stop market order is that a stop limit order will only be executed at the limit price or better. Whereas a stop market order will be executed at the best available price once the stop price is reached.